With this video I will show you how to control at the same time the hotspot and the fall off of these lights even there are no instances yeah but just using a dummy object and the parameter editor and then basically we wire those parameters to the light so we can control with just a dummy um, all the hotspot and the fall off in all the lights and we can still use separate values for um, fire alternation and multiplier as well first thing after you've got all your lights we create the dummy object that's the one is gonna work as a container yeah for the parameter after we've got dummy then we go to the animation menu parameter editor and there is where we create the parameters for that dummy so with that dummy selected we just click add that's going to add the parameter and then we can click edit we can edit it before we add it but I mean I just found it easier this way so once we add it then we edit it this is basically how it looks like and that's going to be the width of your parameter uh, and let's say the width I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller let's say something like 80 uh, I'm going to use a spinner you can also use like a slider I'd rather use this one here so I can input some values then the range so it's going to be the minimum value 0 0.1 and maximum value for the light okay, because it's a hot spot on the fall off it should be something like 180 degrees and the default value i'm going to use also 0 0.1 that's going to be the minimum upper two for for those guys uh the name of it well i'm going to call that hot spot or bin just change that. Finally, once we go everything, well, actually, you can also center it or put it on the right or on the left. I'm going to use it on the left. You apply changes and that will update it. After that, we we'll just click close here. We add another one. And again, you can just create it here if you want to. So you can rename it like fall off or um, fill same values I'm gonna use the same width same range actually the default value of that one should be a little bit bigger so I'm gonna use uh, 0 0.2 and default again 0 0.2 Oops. and same width same top value uh, I'm gonna align it to the left that's the one and add so that way you don't need to edit it well again you can just add it first and then edit it once you've got it then you can close and then it's time to wire those parameters to the lights the only boring thing about this is that you have to do one by one so with this dummy selected you're gonna right click wire parameters once you click there you're gonna use from the objects dummy the custom attributes hotspot you select your light let's say that one there and we're gonna link it to the hotspot as well once you got those two selected you can choose how is going to be control so if it's going to be from the light to the dummy or from the dummy to the light i'm going to use from the dummy to the light so whatever changes you do on the dummy on the hotspot value is going to update the ones on the hotspot on the light you can also use it in both ways uh, so if you change the light it will change the dummy uh, and so on i'm just going to use it in one direction i'm going to control it with the dummy and connect it so i can close here and i will do the same just right click or you can also go here animation uh, wire parameters wire then you basically select custom attributes uh, fall off we select the light and again we should go to fall off control direction and connect we're gonna need to repeat this for each one of them I'm just gonna do it with two or three and then I will show you how it works so with the dump selected animation wire parameters oops that's another one um, this one here so we're going to use the objects attribute hotspot into that one to control the hotspot control direction and connect one more time wire parameters i'm going to use now the file off same light and i'm going to control the file off again control direction connect you can see actually how it updates yeah automatically on the viewer uh, I'm gonna do it one more time so animation and let's wire it oh, again uh, let's just wire it to 
the hotspot first to that one. And let's also wire it to the fall off into that one. Great. So now I just have a look. If I select my dummy, I can then control the hotspot and the fall off for all of them at the same time. Even they are not are connected, they haven't got a link. You can see how they all change at the same time. So you can then go select each one of those lights and change and just give it a different multiplier value. Like for that one, 1, 2, and 0 0.5. Uh, but the hotspot and the fall off is going to be controlled with the dummy.